Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Heisha. About three months ago, I started using two iconic actives on my skin. Topical Suede, as well as Retinol, Retin-A from Felix. Today is going to be our first update, since it's been a little bit over three months since I've been using both of these. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about the products that I've been using on my skin. Because these two actives can leave the skin a little bit dry, I have been making sure that the other products that I'm using are very hydration and moisture focused. Now. Let's talk about these. First of all, with the retinol. So this is the Retin-A Tetranoin Gel 0.04%. I have been using this one. It is a lot stronger than any of the other retinols that I've tried before. Of course, this one is a Retin-A. Now, because I was using a Dapolin for a year and some, I actually didn't even notice a purge using this product. Now, that's because I worked my way up to it. Now, if you were just gonna go ahead and start using this, you'd probably experience a lot of side effects that I, thankfully did not go through, especially with the experience that I had using retinol for the very first time and trying one that was way too strong for my skin. But this one, because I worked my way up, I didn't have any purging to it. If you want to know more about that journey and what products I would suggest using in the succession, succession, <laughs> then click the video up above because I talked about that before. And um, my skin is peeling a little bit around my nose and my mouth only because I've been using a peel as well, a chemical peel. So far with my acne, it's been really nice and my skin has truly been clearing up so well. I barely break out anymore. If I do, it's just like one or two on my face. My period's gonna come in the next week, so there's a little bit of a breakout currently, but other than that, we are good and I'm loving that. One other thing I'll say, I started using this on the rest of my body as well, so I am breaking out on my chest and my back. Um, that's the only thing I've noticed and I never really used retinol on those areas before. So so if you want, you can definitely bring down your retinol to the rest of your body. Um, I think there I'm experiencing a little bit more of that purging versus on my face, obviously, because I have never used retinol on my body before. But um, I think it's really good. It lasts for quite a long time and the results are amazing. My skin is super smooth. I've really been loving using this Retin-A. So if you are on the fence about using retinol in your skincare routine, let this be your sign to use it. Um, speak with your derm, an esthetician, or even felix.com. They are partnered with dermatologists as well. So you can go on there, have a little chat with them and see what they would recommend for you. But yes, love this so much. <laughs> um, now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's talk about Topical Suede. So this product is packed with a bunch of multi-layered skin brighteners and terosinase inhibitors like kojic acid, transamic acid, melatonin, niacinamide, licorice root, and azelialic, azelic, azelic acid. <laughs> this product specifically says not to use it with AHAs, BHAs, or retinols. Now, when they say don't use it with, if you're going to be exfoliating your skin in the morning, and this is one thing I did want to reiterate because I've got a couple questions about this, just space out your products. So I actually use this three days in a week. Let's say I use this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in the mornings. In the nighttime of those days, I will use retinol for four days, giving me four days in total that I'm using these active ingredients, splitting them between morning and night. On the other days, I will either exfoliate my skin, which is like a gentle exfoliator or cleanser. I'll use a peel or I'll just have like a really nice non-active day just to let my skin barrier replenish and kind of cool down a little bit. And then I'll restart. So I'm not using them together per se, and I am giving my skin a little bit of a rest, which I think is super important to do. But yes, I've been using this in the morning and I actually don't even use like any other products with this. I'll just wash my face, kind of let it dry down a little bit and then apply this, let that set. If I feel like I need a moisturizer, I will apply it. Generally, I don't. I just go into the Black Girl sunscreen, put that on, and I'm good to go. Literally just two products in the morning, and that's it. And that is the best way I would say to use this. Before, I was layering the hyaluronic acid before this, but I feel like it was creating too much of a buffer. This product really needs to touch your skin to work. So the least amount of layers that you can put on of other things will be the best. So just cleanse this and SPF. 
that's it. In the evening, I would cleanse, uh, put on the hydrator because Red Mouth specifically is very, very drying. I'll put that on, kind of let it dry down a little bit, dot on the Red Mouth, and then my moisturizer. But I hope that clears up a couple of your questions. So how is my skin actually doing? In terms of texture, tone, smoothness, I would say it's doing really well. Here, So here I'll put some footage on the screen. This is when I first started using the products in January. I think at this point I had used it for a month. And so comparison to now, as you'll see the texture of my skin is brighter. It looks a lot smoother. A lot of the pigmentation, I tried to dim the light a little bit so it's not getting too much in your face, but it actually looks really, really good. And honestly, some days I barely even notice that there's any spots on my skin. I've had people compliment me on my skin because I barely wear makeup other than when I'm filming. So I've had a lot of compliment, compliments on my skin and I think that when you look at yourself in the mirror, not too often are you gonna see that big of a difference because you see yourself every day. But because I spaced out the times when I did the footages, I actually do like what's going on with my skin. Um, obviously my cheeks are the place where the darkest part of my pigmentation is. So that is taking a little bit longer to fade. Um, but you can see the comparison. I got a pimple. I got a pimple on my forehead not too long ago and you can see the difference in the pigmentation and how light the rest of my dark spots are. So, so far I can say modest results. The skin looks amazing. Skin is, you know, really healthy. And even my esthetician said that my skin is looking really healthy as well, which was like the biggest compliment. Um, so um, yeah, modest results so far. And I'm looking forward to see what the next couple of months will do. If you guys ever tried these before, retinol, uh, the faded or any other pigment products that you are enjoying please let me know I would love to hear your thoughts down below go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one bye